Hi, welcome to the channel to Irrational. I am Pranay Sharma and in this video we are going to see how to solve equations using the solve function of Casio FX 991 ES+. We can solve almost any type of equation with this function but in our calculator certain equations can be solved using special functions like in this mode we have an equation that would be 5 and these are the types of equations, simultaneous equations, then we have quadratic equations, cubic equations. And I would suggest quadratic and cubic equation to be solved with this because solve function cannot give you answers in complex numbers. Whereas these will give you answers in complex numbers if your answers are in complex numbers. But here you would see that we do not have fourth power or any higher order equation that we can solve with this special way. So for that we'll use the solve function. We'll go back to the comp mode. We'll press AC mode 1 and we'll take an example of a fourth order equation. Let's see the equation. So the first thing we need to do is type our equation in the comp mode. So I'll have 6 for x. I need alpha and this closing bracket raised to 4. Come down plus x cube minus 17 x square minus 16 x minus 4. Now I need this equal to sign for that I am not going to press this equal to down here but you can see besides solve I have an equal to sign in red. So for that I will press alpha and then the CALC button and I will get an equal to. I want equal to 0. Now to solve this, we just have to press shift and this CALC button and it will first ask you for a approximate value that you think this equation could be solved with. If you don't know, it's fine. You can leave it as it is and just press equal to. See the first equation, first value that it is showing me is x is equals to 2. So I'll write that down. This here L minus R is equals to 0 tells us that this is an exact root. That means we got X is equals to 4 solves this equation perfectly. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the equation may not solve it perfectly. It will give you an approximate answer. Then you will find here some value return. The higher the value, the more approximation we have. That's it. This is how you use solve function. But you would ask me Pranay, what about 3 more? This is just the first answer, first root. What about x2, x3 and x4? We need four roots of this equation. So we can find that also. But for that, we need to change this equation a little bit. I would divide my equation with x minus 2. That is the root that I have got. So x minus the root. So to do that, I will just press the side arrow key and first I will put this equation in bracket before equal to. So I will put a bracket here, I will go this side and just before the equal to, I will put a bracket and then divide by bracket x minus 2. And now again I need shift and solve. Again it is asking for an approximate answer you don't need to actually give we'll just press equal to and the next answer here is minus 0 0.5 so my next root is minus 0 0.5 and you can see l minus r is still 0 so this is an exact answer not an approximate answer to get the next one i will now divide this by x minus of minus 0 0.5 so that would be plus 0 0.5 Again press the side arrow key, so divide by bracket x plus 0.5 and press equal to. As you can see I got an error because I pressed here equal to. To go back I, I can press side arrow key and I will get my equation. I needed shift solve. Again I will press equal to and it will solve this 0.66 recurring that means it is 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3. So the next that I will divide would be x plus 2 by 3. 
again side arrow so divide by bracket alpha x plus 2 by 3 bracket close then shift solve equal to and the last is minus 1 so this is the last root and this way you can solve fifth power sixth power tenth power does not matter you just have to be patient and do this again and again the only catch here is that your root should always be in the real numbers. You cannot have a complex number root. It will not be able to solve it. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Please comment. What would you like me to do next? To check out the complete playlist on this calculator, I will leave the link of the playlist in the description. Do check them out and I will see you in the next one.